All right, Shalom. Kahaloyim la yaha ba shimi ha oshai ba shem rakak wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who were well for teaching me the truth. And salutations to the elect. All right, you brothers out there in the four corners of the world pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. And to the sisters as well. All right, who bow yourself to Israelite men for the sake of your salvation, which is in yaha ba shimi ha oshai. To you, I say Shalom. This is Kaya Ha here. Um, coming back at you with another video. He just put my page back up. I was uh I received a strike and things of that nature. But yeah, so my, my page is freed back up, you know, through the spirit. But um today I'm gonna go into the uh the, the dark origins, what the article says, the dark origins of Valentine's Day. All right. You've seen it coming. You see brothers posting videos and uh information on it and things of that nature. This is not one of our customs. All right, we got to keep telling Jake and informing Jake, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that this is not our customs because this is one of those, another one of those um, holidays, okay, that just start bugging out for it and things of that nature. All right, men go extreme simping for women. You know, you go above and beyond with the uh, the candies and the flowers. All right, and the women, they they feel, they put pressure on men to, to, to bottom those things, okay, whether it's whether it's they man or not, okay, and that's that's totally off, okay. This is not our this is not our heritage, okay. This is not a part of our customs, okay. It's nothing but hypocrisy in 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 uh, uh, uh um um it's just wick just flat out wickedness, man. Just flat out wickedness. All right, this this is not our customs, man. All right. So, I'm going to read a little bit of the article, and then I'm going to jump into some scriptures through the Spirit. All right, it says, The Dark Origins of Valentine's Day. It says, Valentine's Day is a time to celebrate romance and love and kissy face fealty. But the origins of this festival of candy and cupids are actually dark, bloody, and a bit muddled. It says, Though no one has pinpointed the exact origin of the holiday, one place to start is ancient Rome. Okay, now... <coughs> Keep in mind, anytime brothers go into videos concerning things like Christmas or the uh, uh, the Valentine's Day or the um how the how the uh, how the um the Gregorian calendar was made, the days of the week and things like that, it always goes back to Rome. It always goes back to Rome because that was the the uh, the the height, or right, well, one of the heights of the Edomite rulership, man. That was one of the heights of the Edomite rulership. So all of this stuff that we have today came from Esau Edom. All everything we have today came from Esau Edom. All right, concerning this society. All right. It says, though no one has pinpointed the exact origin of the holiday, one place to start is ancient Rome. Okay, so again, all of this stuff started in ancient Rome, man. Okay. It says the Roman celebrations were violent. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, you can go, you can go as far back even to uh, uh, ancient Egypt, man. All right, because them Hamites was doing the same damn thing. All, right, all of these uh, Greek gods and and pagan gods and stuff like that. A lot of it came from ancient Egypt as well, man. Okay, that was another point in time where the Israelites, all right, was was captive. You see the the uh, the picture right here. All right, it says from February 13th to 15th, it says the Romans celebrated the Feast of Lupercalia. The men sacrificed a goat and a dog, then whipped women with the hides of the animals they had just slain. Okay, now what, what kind of, this is this is no Israelite custom, man. All right, this is absolutely no Israelite custom. All right, because you can't sacrifice a dog to Yahabashim Yahawashai. Okay. So that's already going off. All right, it has to be a um, um, like a bull or a goat, or a sheep. All right, it says then whipped women with the hides of the animals they had just slain, and that's that's going off as well, man. All right, you ain't supposed to beat your woman. All right, it says the Roman romantics were drunk, they were naked. Noel Lenski, now a religious studies professor at Yale, told NPR in 2011. Young women will actually line up for the men to hit them, Linsky said. They believe this will make them fertile. Yeah, according to what, man? All right, this is why, I look, man, this is why it's important to get in, uh, get involved with the scriptures, with our heritage. Because, again, this this is a wicked custom, man. 
It says the brutal feat included a matchmaking lottery in which young men drew the names of women from a jar. The couple would then be um, coupled for the duration of the festival or longer if the match was right. Yeah, and you know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? This is a, this is exactly what's going on today, man. All right, this is exactly what's going on today. All right, you you women are, are running around uh, rampant, okay? But playing, uh, you men and women are running around rampant, playing a damn lottery game of who's gonna love me, who's gonna who's gonna do me right, and all of this other stuff, man. That's not real love, okay? That's just that's just fornication, okay? And then it says the couple would then be coupled up for the duration of the festival. So it could be a one-time fling. All right. And then it says, or longer. All right. If the, it, quote unquote, if the match was right, man. It says the ancient Romans may also be responsible for the name of our modern day of love. And they are, man. All right. Because everything is in a society is uh, romanticized, which means it's done in Roman manner. Okay. Romance has nothing... It really has nothing to do with love, okay? It has to do with Roman manner, okay? And they are responsible for the name of a uh, modern day love, okay? Because modern day love is like this, um, uh, this, uh, this, this, this fuzzy, romantic, magical feeling that people make it out to be and stuff like that, but it's not. All right, pursuing uh First John five and three, if I'm not mistaken. Love is following the commandments of Yahabashi Melsha, all right? So what we have today is called New Speak, okay? And Esau Edom is responsible for that. All right, it says Emperor Claudius II executed two men, both named Valentine on February 14th of different years in the 3rd century AD. Their martyrdom was honored by the Catholic Church with the celebration of St. Valentine's Day. Now, it doesn't say exactly what these two men did. But it says they're martyrdom, so that that means uh, they 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 died for a particular cause, man. Okay, like I said, it does the article doesn't go into you know what they died, or uh, what led to their deaths. But it says um they were they were executed, you know. But um, I want to skip to the point where it talks about the Christ. Oh, here it is. All right. Um, so I'm down here. I'm reading where it says Lenski added. It was a little more of a drunken revel, but the Christians put clothes back on it. That didn't stop it from being a day of fertility and love, okay? Then that's 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 basically the point, man. All right. It says the Christians put clothes back on it. All right, meaning what they, they revised it, they romanticized it again. Or they, they romanticized it, whatever the case is. Okay. So with that being said, but we're gonna go to some scriptures, but just to get to the point, man, this is Israel, Yaiqual, all right, this is, these are not your customs, man, all right, let me get this, in the book of Jeremiah, all right, gotta start off with this scripture, man, all right, the famous scripture when it comes to these damn holidays, it says, hear ye the word which the Lord, Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, yeah, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because, and you, you know what's funny, man? About this, uh, this, this whole point in time or whatever, this Valentine's Day or whatever, every year it gets worse. Every year it gets worse. You know, with, with, with this captivity in general, every year it gets, it gets worse. All right, because more and more women and men are starting to find themselves single. All right, because you got a lot of jakes out here who, who woke up and decided not to feed into women's BS anymore. All right. A lot of men have decided to start, uh, to, to, to stop simping. Over these women, all right, because a, a, a woman's a woman's power play, a woman's power game, is is manipulation. So when she's able to finesse you out of gifts and attention and stuff like that without having to touch you, or have sex with you rather, okay, then she will. And a lot of them are still doing it today, man. All right, but anyway, the scriptures say, "Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel." Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay? It says, learn not the way of the heathen. You know? So that, that means Valentine's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, um, uh, 
whatever the hell else custom Easter, whatever the hell else customs is out there, man. Okay, that don't identify with your Habashimi Hawashai because none of those 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 uh days identify with the spirit of your Habashimi Hawashai. Again, we have our own customs, man. Okay, that we went off from following because what this um it's in, it's in the sec uh the uh the second chapter. I believe it's in the second chapter. Let me see. Um, yeah, Khan, Jeremiah 2 and 33, okay? We stopped following our customs because we wanted to be joined with the heathen, man. Okay, which is going totally up because we're better than them. All right, we're better than the so-called white man, the Arab man, the Asian man, the Japanese. All right, the Chinese, the Samoan, okay? We're, we're better than them, man. We're, we're above them, the Hamites, the so-called African. We're better than them. Okay, but the scriptures say what? Jeremiah 2 and 33, it says, Why tremest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Okay? Yeah, the Lord said, well, uh, uh, why, do you, why do you do good for the heathen to seek love from them? Okay? Because what? Jake, Jake will go all out of his way to, to, uh, to, 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 um, to pardon the heathen, but he won't pardon his own brother. All right, Jacob worship a, a, a brick, but he won't worship the, a living power. He'll worship an inanimate still object, but he won't worship a, a living power, man. It makes no sense. All right. It says, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore, hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Okay, going back to that, that whoredom, man. Going back to the, to the whoredom. All right, Judah played the harlot. You know, Ephraim. Israel played the harlot, man. Okay. And I was um that was really the point on that. I think it's an Amos. Despise your feast days. Yeah, Amos 5 and 21. All right. It says, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. It says, though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Yeah. So even though y'all go around, you know what I'm saying, um, praising these these vain holidays and customs and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? You all, uh, you like, uh, for instance, Thanksgiving and stuff like that. You know, y'all y'all pray over the food. Y'all pray to Jesus Christ over the food. Y'all pray to the Lord over the food. Okay. But you're not, you're not praying to the right Lord, man. Are right? you not praying to the right power? Okay, so yeah, how about Shimon Shah said uh he despises your feast days, man, and this is another feast day, right? Uh, of of uh quote unquote love and fertility. All right, basically a, a sex scandal. Okay. It says, though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. It says, Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy uh, violas, all right, now, if I'm not mistaken, a viola is an instrument, okay, like a musical instrument, all right, but that's the point, man, yeah, how about Shimon Shah said he's not, he's not looking at these, 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 uh, these holidays, all right, these holidays, you know, which brothers call them, because that's what they are, man, you know, the scriptures tell you not to, uh, 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 put your children through the fire of Molech, roughly paraphrasing, basically don't give your children up to the world, Okay, because what's what's Jake's favorite thing to say when it comes to these these holidays, man? Oh, you know, you want to do for the oh Halloween? I forgot that. I meant to say that earlier too. Halloween, okay. But what's fav what's Jake's favorite thing to say, man? Oh, I, I gotta do it. You know, I gotta. I want to do it for the kids. You know, I want my I don't want my kids to just you know be awkward in school and you know. It's like nah, man. You ain't no. If you want to do anything for the kids, go back to the Hebrew customs for the for your kids, man. Okay. Go back to the customs, you know, the Israelite customs, all right? But, but Jake, again, Jake is trimming, Jake is always trimming his way to seek love. So because, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you an Israelite, okay, knowing you ain't supposed to uh, 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 indulge in this folly of these, these holidays, like these pagan holidays and stuff like that, because you see everybody else doing it, you're going to do it too. And that's the nature of these, these, these. These off Israelites, man. 
this off Israelite camps because you know some of them is celebrating this stuff too, okay. And even if they're not celebrating it or, or talking about it, they they still don't push our customs, man. All right, all of these guys who so called who so called um indulged in the law, or who think we get saved solely by the law, okay. Who's to say that some of them members is is practicing, you know, Esau's holidays in secret still? Okay, buying a woman gifts for Valentine's Day, all right, taking the kids trick or treating on Halloween, celebrating Christmas and Thanksgiving. Who's to say that some of these guys ain't doing this stuff behind closed doors? All right, because the scriptures say they do, you know. But um, that was the point on that man. I just want to make this video real quick through the spirit. I want to go ahead and give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Vakak Badash, a Shalom.